Is Stockholm under pressure? The Swedish government scrambles to contain international outcry after allowing a man to desecrate the Quran. Could artificial intelligence help boost Qatar's GDP even further? The future is here. The world's first flying car is now accepting pre-orders. And finally, a stunning victory for Qatar at the CONCACAF Gold Cup. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. The Swedish government has publicly denounced the recent quote Islamophobic burning of the Quran. This is despite Swedish police initially providing an approved permit that allowed the man to desecrate and burn the holy book in Stockholm. In a statement, the Swedish foreign ministry recognized that the incident, which occurred outside a mosque on a day, was in fact Islamophobic. It comes after Muslim leaders from the Organization of Islamic Cooperation called for global measures to prevent the desecration of the Quran in future. Now, a top expert says artificial intelligence will likely have a huge impact on Qatar's gross domestic product. According to Microsoft Qatar's general manager Lana Khalaf, AI could contribute 8.2% to Qatar's GDP by 2030. The new wave of technology is also expected to add $15.7 trillion contribution to the global economy, with $320 billion specifically dedicated to the Middle East region. If you're sick and tired of morning traffic, we have good news for you. The world's first ever flying electric car is now available to pre-order for a price. California-based Aleph Aeronautics announced its revolutionary Model A flying vehicle can travel up to 200 miles on public roads, but can also vertically launch into the sky for a flying range of 110 miles. The cars could hit the skies by as early as 2025. So how much does it cost? Just $300,000. And finally, Qatar's footballers delivered a stunning win against Mexico at the CONCACAF Gold Cup on Monday. A lone goal from Hazem Shihata stole the match from Mexico, the eight-time winners of the tournament. The win dealt a blow to Mexico as especially after it dominated the game from start to finish. Qatar is now due to play at the quarterfinals on the 9th of July. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website, www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.